हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज श्रुति हरिहारना अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एड फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर फ्रॉम सेंट थॉमस कॉलेज भिलाई टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ द लेक्चर इज द दिल्ली सल्तनत इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट रूलर्स ऑफ दिल्ली फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी टू फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी आर कैपिटल दिल्ली हैज अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री पीपल हैव कंटिन्यूसली इनहेबिटेड दिल्ली सिंस द सिक्स सेंचुरी हाउ एवर इट डिड नॉट बिकम अ मेजर सिटी अंटिल द अर्ली ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी During the 12th century the Chauhans conquered the city of Delhi from the Tomars and Rajputs and transformed it into an important commercial center in 1192 with the defeat of Prithviraj Chauhan Delhi again changed hands and now for the first time it came under the Muslim rule established by Muhammad Ghori in 1206 Ghori appointed one of his generals Qutbuddin Aybak as the governor of delhi thus was established the first muslim dynasty in the indian subcontinent at then it was called the mamluk dynasty from 1206 to 1526 delhi was ruled by many rulers of different muslim dynasties they preferred the title of sultan and so the period of history came to be known as the sultanat period or the delhi sultanat it started with the mamluk dynasty also known as the slave dynasty followed by the khilji the tughlaq the sayyid and the lodi dynasties after qutbuddin aybak his son-in-law shamsuddin iltutmish succeeded the throne he passed on the reign of delhi to his daughter razia as she was more capable than his sons she was the only women ruler of the delhi sultanate to rule delhi in 1266 after razia balban the chief advisor of her brother ruled delhi he was the last of the slave dynasty after his death in 1287 delhi came under the rule of khilji dynasty the first ruler of khilji dynasty was jalaluddin khilji who was succeeded by alauddin khilji an excellent administrator who influenced many rulers of the following generation in 1316 the death of alauddin khilji brought an end to the khilji dynasty the tughlaqs came next ghiyasuddin tughlaq was the first emperor of the tughlaq dynasty he ruled over delhi till 1325 ad after him His son Muhammad bin Tughlaq succeeded the throne. After his death in 1351, Firoz Shah Tughlaq became the next ruler. After his death, the Tughlaq dynasty became weak. In 1398, Timur from Central Asia came to attack India to as to loot and plunder it. Delhi was ruined after his attack. He appointed Khizr Khan as the governor of Multan and Sindh and left India. Later, Khizr Khan founded the Sayyid dynasty, which ruled from 1414 to 1451 AD. In 1421, Khizr Khan died, and the Sayyid dynasty was ruled by Mubarak Shah. After him, the dynasty did not last long. and balul lodi an afghan noble established the lodi dynasty in 1451 ad after him his son sikandar lodi ruled delhi and shifted the capital from delhi to agra he was succeeded by ibrahim lodi in 1517 but was unable to gain the support of afghan nobles who started fighting among themselves and began plotting against ibrahim for power Finally Daulat Khan Lodi the governor of Punjab and uncle of Ibrahim invited Babur to invade India in 1526 Babur attacked and defeated Ibrahim Lodi in the first battle of Panipat and so ended the rule of Lodi dynasty over Delhi this also paved the way for the formation of Mughal empire in India We have now reached the end of the lecture. In this module, we learned 
that Delhi became the capital city after the establishment of Delhi Sultanate in the 13th century. The Delhi Sultanate consists of five dynasties, namely the Slave Dynasty, the Khilji, the Tughlaq, the Sayyid, and the Lodi dynasties. Thank you for listening and I hope this video helps you all.